here to give our thoughts on the new Game of Thrones trailer for season six. Now this is the second trailer that's come out, I guess the second official full length trailer and there are a lot of great things in it. So starting off, we got confirmation on Jon Snow's fate. He's dead as a door now, but don't worry, he's coming right back. Yeah, it's like they're making it a big point to say he's dead over and over, so we can be pretty sure he's coming back. So one interesting thing to note from the trailer is we kind of have a Team Davos versus the Team Black Brothers. Team Ollie. So yeah, Team Ollie and the shitheads at Castle Black are kind of on the opposite side of things from Davos, and it seems like some of the Black Brothers, and probably Probably Melisandre. Now I think personally that's going to come to a storyline where we kind of resurrect Jon Snow. I think mm -hmm. Melisandre is going to be the person that does it and Davos and the good Black Brothers, good, mm -hmm. are you know going to facilitate it. The two homies who stayed loyal. Next off we see Jaime finally arriving back in King's Landing to break the news of Marcella's death to Cersei. And really Jaime's whole storyline is going to focus on him going to the Riverlands to sort out uh, the mess after the Red Wedding. Yeah, so he will be stopping off in King's Landing, and unlike the last trailer where we really saw him consoling Cersei, in this trailer, Jamie's kind of badass, he's telling the Sparrow business. that he's like, I'll go ahead and kill you. Um, but, you know, we do know that he will be going to the Riverlands. We see several shots of Lannister encampments, including Podrick, who gets grabbed from behind by some mysterious person. Now... I hate to say this because I'd given up all hope, but could they be doing Stoneheart? It's late, but they could still. I mean, Brienne is kind of up in the air. Podrick's up in the air. We'll see. It's never too late or early to drop a stone heart. I know there's about three people excited for a Jamie and Brienne reunion, so look forward to that as well. Over at Vae's Dorfrak, Danny continues to go all through it. She is being stripped bare naked by the Dosh Colleen, and she's being kind of brought back into this life and being made into a crone essentially to live out her years as an old withered woman. <laughs> now this is what I predicted in my season 5 reviews, you can go back and check on those. I always said that they would probably take Danny to Vaeus Dothrak, you know, to the Dosh Kaleen. I like how it's kind of ironic, she's going through a semi-slave treatment, you know, she's being forced into this, she's walking barefoot and getting dirty and stuff. It's very different than what we've seen in recent seasons with Danny. One other notable thing with the Dothrak is that we do see Drogon flying over them. So Cal Jacko, the guy who's leading the Dothraki, his Kalasar do see Drogon. So we'll see how they interpret that. And over in Bravos, we see Arya kind of excelling in her training at the House of Black and White as she's kind of besting the Waif, who is her main antagonist, if you will, in season five. So it's good to see her kind of get that revenge. So we will be getting cool Arya combat scenes. We will be getting her running through the streets, but we're also going to be getting Blind Beth, her time spent as a blind person. As kind of a dual punishment and to learn more. Also looking forward to seeing Arya finally put on a face. We saw some of it in action for the first time. Can't wait to see it. As well as kind of delve into her Stark bloodline by warging. Now we're going to be doing videos on specific things from the Game of Thrones trailers over the next couple of weeks. We're going to be giving all of our specific predictions about what's going to be happening with characters including Arya warging, Bran seeing the Night's King and all of that. So still have no idea what Sansa is doing over in the north. They now, gotta show Sansa all fucked up. Now how in the hell Littlefinger made his way back to the north in time to, to be the White Knight? I don't know. I mean, I guess he's been heading up that way, but it does seem a little quick, and it just seems like Littlefinger in the show is... Always there. It's too much. It's over the top. <laughs> like, Littlefinger in the books is a lot more subtle. I think his character and Sansa's character suffered a lot in season five. One of my early thoughts going in was that Brienne would help Sansa uh, reunite with Jon Snow at the wall, but it looks like Brienne's down in the Riverlands with Podrick and Jamie. so who knows what's going on with Sansa. Yeah, one of the prevailing predictions that people seem to have about season 6 with Brienne is that she's going to be the one that finds Theon and Sansa, and it does look like she might find Theon. We've seen scenes that kind of hint mm -hmm. at that. But we do also see Podrick down in the Riverlands. We are going to see some of the Tullys coming back, including Edmure and the Blackfish. So with the plotline being a little different in the show, with Tyrion already being in Marine and having Varys or Varys or however you want to pronounce it there with him. Now, along with seeing Tyrion go down with the dragons, which happens at the end of the trailer, and that's what I'm pretty much most excited about this coming season, we do have a new character being introduced into the Marine storyline. We've got a new Red Priestess. Now, this is going to be noticeably different than Melisandre. She's going to be coming in and stirring things up in Marine. Now this might be kind of an allegory for Makoro in the books. 
you know, is it Makora? But we don't really know her story yet. I did see the audition tapes where they were trying out people for this role, though. Personally, my favorite moment in the whole trailer came with the Tower of Joy yes. quick scene, the carnage with uh, one of Rhaegar's Kingsguard, looked to be Sir Arthur Dane himself impaling one of Ned's guys. Yeah, just an awesome kill shot. It was really cool. The Tower of Joy is going to be a really great scene, and we did get a big confirmation in this trailer the way the Tower of Joy is going to be revealed, you know, and this was pretty obvious for a lot of people who read the books, but it is going to be through Bran's visions. It is going to be through the Three-Eyed Raven because we see the new actor in the Mox scene that in, in what is clearly the Tower of Joy backdrop. So this is how we're going to see it. You know, it's not Howland Reed coming back and telling everybody this is how it all went down. Um, you know, has I like that Bran's vision is going to be doing it. Another interesting thing that season 6 will delve into is Cersei's revenge, more so the psychological demons that she faces as she plots to get her much needed revenge against her, those who did her wrong. And you see her speaking to Tommen and kind of coaching him up and telling Tommen, him this is what Lannisters do. And Cersei didn't stay us. down for long. Her craziness <laughs> was not going to let her feel humble for any longer than you know the time it took them to put clothes on her after the Walk of Shame. So mm. she's back in action. She's ready for blood. Uh, we have seen a weak moment with her and Jamie where he's kind of telling her, um, you know, it's all going to be all right. But other than that, you know, in this trailer, she's spitting fire. She's ready. So it looked like we got one of our first death scenes from Sir Robert Strong tanking out one of the Faith Milton in a really brutal way, very reminiscent to how he took out Oberyn Martell. He definitely killed a guy. It was yeah. cool. So something that I've been saying I wanted to happen, you know, in my season five reviews and in my kind of theories overall about Tyrion, he is going to be the one, you know, trying to go down there and release the dragons. We see him arguing for that in the trailer as well as actually going down there and being face to face with the two dragons that are down there, Rhaegal and Viserion, one of which may be his. Now go check out my Is Tyrion the Mad King's Son theory video for, you know, more information on that stuff from the books that I feel backs up that idea. But yeah, those were our thoughts on the Game of Thrones Season 6 trailer number 2. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Also make sure to subscribe to the RNS Entertainment and like this video. Yeah, and go like and follow us at Roman underscore RNS and follow me on Twitter at Geeks and Cleats. Also, if you like Game of Thrones, make sure to hit subscribe. We're going to have a ton of great stuff coming out this season for Game of Thrones. We're going to have several weekly series coming out from episode reviews to a live podcast that airs each week to a really special like gaming series that has to do with Game of Thrones. Not a video game series, but uh, something else that's really cool. It's going to be really fun. You guys are going to love that. So yeah, again, this is Roman. This is Ashley. From RNS Entertainment. Take care.